Hey guys, happy new year. My name is Tito. I make videos on personal finance on my other channel. On this channel, I talk about other things like today when I'll be reviewing the new Nollywood film, The Trade. Now, The Trade is an action drama about a kidnapper, a notorious kidnapper who grabs his victims and who holds them for ransom and, you know, demands huge amounts of money from their families. And it's loosely based on real life events right here in Nigeria because sadly, kidnapping is a thing in this country. It's a terrible scourge. And it's also rumored that this film is based on the um, notorious kidnapper Evans who was apprehended just a few years ago. The movie is directed, produced, and written by the great Jadi Oshiberu. So you know it's going to be a good one, right? And the film stars, this film has a great star-studded cast. This film let me know that there's a difference between a star-studded cast and a star-studded cast of actors who genuinely know how to act. Do with that what you will but this film right it stars blossom chukujeku stan nze gideon okeke sean fakwa um kelechi udigbi gregory ojehua ali nuhu um chiwetel agu uh rita dominic i don't know if i mentioned her name nengi adoki people kept on popping up on the screen in this film i was like wait this person is in this, is in this film this person is in this film i particularly liked the scenes that Stan Nze and Gideon Okeke shared together. I think they had two scenes together in this film and I enjoyed it because those are two actors, right? Let me just divert for a little way, a little while. Those are two actors that are some of the best in Nollywood when they collide with a great director and a great script and a great role. Gideon Okeke and Stan Nze, they will surprise you if you give them what if you give them what they can work with to do an amazing job in a film and they came really close to that in this movie they didn't i don't want to spoil it for you guys but and i'll just leave it at that they came really close in this movie i really I, I enjoyed their scenes together and i think both their performances were my favorite in this film but generally i mean blossom chukujeku too did a fantastic job nengi aduki did an amazing job playing um <sighs> I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to drop spoilers. I want you guys to go out, and see and go out and see this film. But everyone did a fantastic job. I do see nominations for many people in this movie. And even for, you know, the production itself, I see there being nominations come award season. So yeah, the performances in this film, top notch, fantastic. The cinematography. With a Jadi Oshiberu film, you can expect great cinematography, great production value, great lighting great shot composition which is what i actually enjoyed most in this film great wardrobe and great storytelling this film just it ticked off you know so many boxes and i was just spellbound as i was watching it but more so because of the story the nature of the story and the way the story was told which is another thing that jadi is quite masterful at when jadi tackles a movie it tends to have like a social element to it. There, there's social relevance, relevance to most of Jadi's films. And like I said earlier, kidnapping is at the center of this one. And she treats it from a perspective of the reality of the Nigerian situation and how difficult it is to clamp down or for you know law enforcement to tackle kidnapping in the country. And But she also does show how the lens to which, to which law enforcement goes to actually capture and apprehend kidnappers and to set um, victims or hostages free. Is it hostages or what's the proper term? You get the point. But it does give you an interesting look on the whole dynamic and the relationship between, you know, the kidnappers, the, kid the, the victims, families and the police. Because not every time, you know, <laughs> it's not every time that the victims' families want to go to the police because they don't want to, um, you know, to complicate situations. They just want their loved ones back. It just gives you a very interesting appreciation. And, you know, naturally, with a Jadio Shibaru film, it looks at the, the state's role in terms of solving social ills or solving situations that we face in this country because sometimes there are institutional factors. You get the point once you see it you'll get it but yeah so i like how the story was tackled from that angle i think this film right i, I i'm confident to say actually I, I i shouldn't be bashful about it or scared to say it i think this will be one of the top 10 films that i will mention at the end of 2023 weird right this is the first film i'm profiling or i'm reviewing in 2023 and already i think it's a candidate for the top 10 of the year and it's not strange because when I look back at other Jadio Shibaru films, either the ones she's directed or she's produced, 
those films could easily have made it into my top 10 of each of the years that they came in like came out in like isoke or ainla or sugar rush i mean last year brotherhood which she produced was in the top 10 i think it was even number two on my list so i won't be surprised really and truly if the trade makes it to my top 10 of 2023 you guys should go and see it this is the film that i'm going to recommend to everyone that i see everyone that i talk to anyone who asks me what's good in the cinemas right now this is the movie that i am going to mention um when it gets on streaming you guys are going to the people overseas in diaspora they're going to eat it up they're really going to love it they're really going to give props to blossom chukujeku and the other actors in this film so yeah don't wait you know if you're in nigeria you have access to our cinemas right now you are in a fortunate position you can go and see that film right now as opposed to people who have to wait a few months till it gets on streaming i thoroughly enjoyed it i think you will too so go out and see the trade fun fact this movie was actually filmed years ago i think in 2018 or 2019 but for maybe the sensitive nature of the movie or because the evans case was still fresh back then this is just my conspiracy theory i think because of that they didn't put out this film back then it's now been like at least three or four years since this movie was made and i even thought this movie wasn't going to come out at all but i was surprised when i heard from one of my siblings on january 1st that this movie was going to come out in cinemas in on the 13th of january which was just yesterday and i saw it in the cinemas and i was thoroughly impressed i must say anyway guys thank you so much for watching this review it's great to be back i took about two weeks off i'm back now and i'm looking forward to a very interesting very prosperous very um i don't know financially profitable year for myself for filmmakers for you guys for all of us basically in 2023 i'm going to be trying out some new things so fingers crossed that those things you know work well and they resonate with you guys who watch my videos please remember to like this video by clicking on the like button just underneath the video and subscribe to my channel as well by clicking on the black subscribe button on this channel i don't just do not do movie reviews i also talk about relationships so check out some of my past videos you can click the card in the corner of the screen thank you so much for watching guys have a fantastic 2023 and i'll see you real soon in my next review take care